How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We are looking at Snowflake because winter has come. I wanted to look at it because I actually just came out of a workout. My hair's crazy. I haven't even taken a shower yet, but I got out and I just pulled up my Weeble app. I looked and Snowflake was up 122%. And I wanted to talk about it. I went over kind of what happened a little bit, but I'm going to talk about that, what happened. I'm going to give you some warnings about if you're thinking about investing in them. And we're just going to look at it as a whole. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. Third video of the day. Uh, if you want some stocks to buy, definitely subscribe because tomorrow I'm coming out with the four stocks that I bought this week and they've done pretty well so far. And, you know, it might be a little bit safer than investing in Snowflake right now. So if you like that, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to start investing with Webull and be able to track your stocks a lot easier, also get a free stock for investing or depositing $100. You can get a stock worth up to $1,600. You can check out the link in the description. Also, you can join our Patreon too to learn about investing and to kind of bounce ideas off each other. So Snowflake is up 122%. Now, it's not actually up 122%. They raised the price. So yesterday, I actually talked about this in my video on Snowflake, and they raised the price of the IPO. So it was going to start at just $75 or $80. They moved it up to 100 And then today, after so many people put in some buy orders, you can see here, it really started up much higher than what it was expecting. And we're pretty much even on the day, actually down just a little bit from when people actually really start buying real time. So you can see here, it's been up and down a little bit, some people taking profits. This is one of those times where it's kind of risky to buy the stock because it's hyped up so much, it's gone to such a high value. It was already a very expensive stock for what they do before. So if you want a longer rundown on the stock, I talk about it here and I really cover the stock more holistically. Today, we're just gonna take a look at kind of where the company is now, now that it's up 122%. So I'll link to this at the end too, if you want to check it out there. But right now, this is one of the largest companies in the world on the IPO. So there aren't that many companies that are over $100 billion. I just looked up the 100 largest companies in the world by market cap 2020. So I don't know if this is right now or if it's like from the beginning of the year, but either way, you can see here that the companies are about $90 billion and up. Right now, Snowflake has a, a market cap of about $81 billion. Depending on when you're seeing this, it could change a little bit, but apparently this actually went up higher, and I can't see on this chart, but I heard that went up to about 319. Yeah, you can see here a high of 319, and that would put them at about $90 billion or so. That makes them one of the largest companies in the world, and they only have about 250 or so million in revenue over the last six months. Now, that means that over a year span, that would be about half a billion, and they are growing very quickly. I covered that in the video, but this price to sales ratio is insane. So a lot of people think that Tesla is severely overvalued, right? So they say that they just turned a profit. It's much too highly valued. It's costing way too much if you want to be an investor. So a lot of people are shorting the stock. A lot of people hate the stock. And their price to sales ratio, even right now with their inflated price, is about 17. Now, another stock, which I, I understand that Tesla is a lot bigger than Snowflake is right now, but another stock that's a lot smaller that a lot of people think that is highly overvalued, and I agree, is Shopify. So they've grown a lot too, but they're at a price to sales ratio of about 51 right now. Now, one stock that I really like is Facebook. And people, some people still don't like Facebook at a price to sales ratio of about 10, and they're growing their revenue about 30% each year. Now, Snowflake is growing their revenue about 150% a year right now, but that's because they're partly because they're really small. And they have a price to sales ratio right now with their new price of about 180. So you are paying about 10 times more for the sales than you are in Tesla. So Tesla is 10 times cheaper right now than Snowflake. And I realized, like I said, Snowflake has a lot of room to grow, but they would have to increase their revenue 10x to the point where they're at the same kind of price to sales ratio as Tesla. They would have to increase it by almost 20 times to be at the same as Facebook. And the way I kind of think about it is 
if you were thinking about investing and you had done your due diligence and you just decided not to buy in, you should not buy in. So I think of it this way. If I came up to you and said, hey, I have this company. It makes $100 each year. I want you to invest $10 and you get whatever percentage of it. And you look at all the numbers, you evaluate it, you look at other different income sources, different ways that you can invest your money and you decide that it's not worth it for you to invest $10 to get those shares. Well, if the next day someone comes and tells you, oh yeah, I bought Sam's company, uh, the same amount of shares that he was going to give you and I paid $20 for it. You wouldn't go back and freak out and try to buy it real quick or buy another portion of the company at $20. You already evaluated it. You realized that wasn't worth it. And then it went up 100%. You already know that it's not what you want. So if you've already done the due diligence, I understand you should not just jump in blindly to this company. Now, I said in my video that I thought it might run up really quickly like it has. Uh, I didn't think they would go up to 270. I'll be honest. I said maybe 150 or something like that. I don't think anyone saw it doubling in value. But if you're someone that hasn't done your due diligence, I understand if you want to go take a look at it again. So if you haven't done your due diligence, it would be somewhat similar to if I said, hey, I want to give you part of my company. You have to invest this amount. And then you said, no, I'm good. And then someone came up to you and said, oh yeah, I paid $20 for what you were going to spend $10 on. Well, you might reconsider and see and actually run the analysis to see if it's worth it now at this higher price. So if you haven't done the due diligence already, I'd go check it out if you're interested. If you've already done it, I would not just blindly throw money in the company. When we get these run-ups like this, it can be very dangerous. Uh, a lot of the time we see a big pullback the next day. Sometimes we see it continue to go up, but a lot of people are taking their profit. A lot of people are probably at work right now. They put the buy-in order this morning and then they'll get out and see that it went up a lot and then they'll sell it off. So I would be careful about buying in right now. Maybe let it simmer a little bit and I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but I would maybe let it simmer if you're considering buying in and seeing where the price goes over the next couple months, maybe just even the next week or two, because it could drop back down to 200 or you know 150 or something like that. I'm not a big market timer, but if a stock goes up 100%, I would kind of consider whether I want to buy into the hype. So thank you guys for watching this. Again, if you want to check out this other video that I had going over Snowflake a little bit more in depth, you can check that out. I'll play it right on the end screen. And please let me know what you guys think of Snowflake in the comments below. If you guys want that free stock, definitely check out the description. There's a bunch of other stuff in there too. If you want to save money on Rakuten, you can get like a, it's a browser add-on and you can get up to 10 or 12% cash back. You get a bonus for signing up. As long as you buy something through the browser add-on, there's a Chase credit card, $200 bonus. As long as you put $500 on it in the first three months, there's a whole ton of good stuff down there. You could probably make a thousand dollars just from checking out the different links in the description. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.